Activities in tea gardens resumed during lockdown in Tripura, but with half the workforce than usual. This has given relief to some extent to both the owners as well as the workers who are generally paid on a day-to-day -day basis. Here's more. Tea is the second largest organized industry in the state of Tripura after rubber. Due to its fertile soil and agroclimate condition, Tripura is suitable for tea cultivation. However, the first peak plucking season of flush crop, which usually begins in March, was missed due to the lockdown imposed by Prime Minister Narendra Modi to limit the spread of coronavirus. Now the plucking and processing of tea leaves in the Durgabari tea estate in West Tripura district has resumed with half the workforce. এত দিন তো দাদা আপনি বুক করুন আবার রেসের কারণে বদ্ধ আসলো একুশ তারিখ থেকে লকডাউন কারণ আমরা লকডাউন মানে চলছি পাঁচ তারিখ থেকে শুরু হয়েছে কাজ পাঁচ তারিখ থেকে আমরা আজকে ছয় তারিখ আজকে কাজ করছি মানে এক মিটার দূরে 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 আমরা দূরত্ব বজায় রাখছি রাখা মাস্ক মুখে মুখে মাস্ক দিয়া আমরা বাগানে কাজ করতে আসি The state receives an annual rainfall about 2100 mm uniformly distributed throughout the year and the temperature varies from 10 degrees Celsius to 35 degrees Celsius. The government has permitted the tea estates to allow controlled activities and manage with half the strength of workers while maintaining all precautions right from using masks to social distancing to washing hands on regular intervals. In addition to this they will also be provided with some ration by authorities at a subsidized rate Lockdown cholakalin amader je first plucking prothom je pata ta bochorer shei pata ta amra nite parini plus amar ei goto bochor borsha hoyechilo ei time ei somoyer moddhe kintu ei bochor borsha hoyni tar pore amra jol lockdown er karone jolo dite parini oshuder je kajer byabostha thake seto amra korte parini jar karone birat khoti khotir samukhin amra hoyechi According to reports the closure of tea estates during the majority of the plucking season could lead to a crop loss between 10 and 25% for the industry this year.